What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you this really cool secret passage bookcase door for your home office or maybe a closet that you have. I just installed this in, in my home office just for fun. And I'm gonna show you all the things I like about it and all the things I don't like and things I upgraded to make it better. Let's go ahead and get started. Originally, this was an open wall right here and it was closed in and the door was installed and I went ahead and painted everything. But it basically looked like this side of the wall, like that, and had the little archway on top. Uh, you can get the bookcase door at murphydoor.com, I believe. I'll leave a link. And, or you can get the bookcase and the hinges on Amazon and do it yourself and save yourself hundreds of dollars, which I highly recommend if you're handy. But uh, that door is very expensive. It was like $950 or pretty much $1,000. Very expensive. You could customize it. You could have a shelf on top, hooks for your coat, and then, you know, a shoe rack on the bottom, cabinet on the bottom. Or you could do the whole thing as a bookcase. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you. So this is where I store my shoes. I install these hooks separately. I have some books up there and some knickknacks. Uh, I'm thinking about installing a lock later on and let me know what you guys think. Where should I, should I install the lock? I can't have a regular doorknob because there's a gap on the sides and they won't, it wouldn't lock properly. So I need some kind of like slide locking mechanism. Like maybe like, I was thinking about this, something using these pieces right here. I think this is ceramic but or resin or something but i'm thinking about you know i'm already drilled a hole i was experimenting a little bit but i need something wider or more uh, heavy duty but i'm thinking about installing something on this i think this is a castle a rook and those move you know like this uh, horizontal or vertical on the chessboard so i thought it would be kind of interesting you know you know, you slide it that way, unlock the door, and then push to open it. Let me know what you think, if that's kind of cool. Um, some people use a book, and they make a mechanism, a locking mechanism out of the, a book as a, I don't know, pulling it. And then I put the mirrors in on the side, just because when you put your coat on right before you leave, you may want to check and see how you look, or if you have any food in your teeth, you know, check your hair, whatnot and also just to distract from the door. And so, open it up, let's go ahead and open it up. And you need to actually use some kind of force, like maybe like a couple pounds of force to open it up. All right, and there's my home office. My, I'm worried about later on in the future, the door sagging because the door is kind of heavy. So I may have to install a wheel later on like a gate wheel on the door I'm not sure not yet but you know I had it for I had this door for a couple weeks and so far so good hasn't sagged at all but let me show you the um, the hinges you can reinstall it you can move the hinge and the door does come off and you can have it swing outward like this and but the trim pieces, of course, would have to be on the door in that case. Uh, the trim pieces came with the door. That's extra, by the way. And I have it, you know, just, of course, nailed to the wall. But if you're going to have it swing out towards you, then you would have to have that trim mounted right there on the outer edge of the door. I also installed this uh, magnet catch. So... There's the plate right there, and then there's the magnet. There's the magnetic catch, and this works a lot better than the other setup. When you get the Murphy door, this is included. It's like a friction lock, where it has a bolt and it falls into that little slot. Not a big fan of that because the bolt gets loose after a while. Then I tried the ball catch. The ball catch lock is basically a spring-loaded ball in the cylinder and you extend it out to maybe like, I don't know, like a quarter inch, half inch, whatever it is. 
but not enough to actually catch onto that plate that I installed. See that plate I installed? Doesn't, nowhere near it. So I tried another way and this is a magnetic catch and I tried that and that works the best. Uh, right here I did drill a hole and uh, right here I drilled a hole. Later on I might get a locking mechanism, kind of like a slide lock to lock it into the drawer jam. I installed the handle that, that was separate and that's because I didn't want to grab it like that. I want to grab onto a handle and then open up the door like a regular door. Um, there was no way to lock it from the inside. This is what it looks like from the inside of my office. And uh, let me open up this curtain. And I'll tell you why I have that curtain there. There was no way to lock it from the inside. So I got this kick stand right here. And that works really well. And so when someone tries to open it, like my kids, it does a really good job locking the door. So when you don't want to use it, you just kick that latch. So it works really well and very inexpensive lock. Easy to install. Now, besides the tension lock that comes with the door, another complaint I would say is that there is gaps on the side and you can see the light from my office right along the outer edge right here and a little bit right here but for the most part it's on this side so what I had to do is get a blackout curtain and that does a really good job blocking the light And you can see right here, works really well. But overall, I'm very happy with the door. I think it's a little bit overpriced. This is a really cool door if you're trying to hide your closet or trying to hide your guns or trying to just make something more functional. This is basically a multifunctional door. It's a you know privacy door and also storage. You can store your coats and books and your shoes. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you're interested in the Murphy door, check out the links in the video description below. If you know anyone that may be interested in this secret passage door, click on the share button below and share this video to them. If you want more videos like this coming your way, subscribe, click on that bell notification to stay updated on the latest videos. Thanks guys.